Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday, September 16th and welcome to another fall. This week I went to the bins again on my own and I found all kinds of super good fall stuff. If you could tell by the thumbnail, there is so much plaid in this haul which is just like perfect for the season. I found jackets, I found scarves, I found flannels. I also found good sweaters, I found good leather, all kinds of super good stuff. So once again, I'm super excited to bring a haul to you guys. So I hope you are excited as well. If you are, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I know that this channel can be a bit spooky, but don't be scared to subscribe. <laughs> so unfortunately, Ryan is not here in this video with me today. He did not go to the bins with me because he is still student teaching all day, every day. And actually this week, he even has been volunteering at the art center in our city to do a child's tent at an art festival. So he is all kinds of busy this week. So once again, I thought I would give him a little break and do this video today on my own so he didn't have to worry about like getting ready and getting stuff for a video and being in a video and all that fun stuff so yes it's just me today so before i jump into the haul i did want to show you guys that we do have the new outlet cover up the jack and ryan outlet cover it's amazing i love it you guys will see it better when it's a video of the two of us like on saturday but yeah i am literally obsessed with it it is like the funniest thing we've ever been sent in the p.o box period if you guys do want to see ryan before saturday we do have a second channel video going up tomorrow and that is going to be him and i and it's going to be fall related but not reselling related so the link to the second channel is below if you guys want to go check that out out. He will be back for what's on Saturday, of course. Okay, so that's quite a bit of stuff. So I need the energy. So I got my pumpkin cold brew from Starbucks. Now let's dive into it. So I think I'm going to start off with the pants and the shorts, etc. And then maybe I'll go like right into, I actually like separated the plaid stuff. So maybe we'll do like the plaid stuff next. Then we'll do the sweaters and etc. Let's get into the bottoms first. First one that I found is this pair of black sweatpants. And right away, I could just tell that these were gonna be Lululemon. I don't know why. I just feel like once you find enough Lulu, you just kind of start to be able to like tell when you find it. And I could tell right away that this was. And then sure enough, when I was doing some searching throughout the pants, I found the logo right there. So these, I don't think have a size in them because there are no pockets. And since they're sweatpants, they don't have that like inner waistband pocket. So I still need to measure them, but they maybe seem like a medium, but they're super nice and actually in like really good shape. And I like that they're kind of like straight leg. Next up, we have a pair of Madewell black jeans. And these these are in a super, super good shape too. These are the nine inch high rise skinny crop and they're size 29. And yeah, they're just really nice, like black cropped jeans with kind of the raw hem. I am kind of picky with paying up for Madewell jeans. I feel like you used to pay up like even up to $15 for them because they would sell so well. But now at the thrift store, I maybe will pay up to like 10 if it's a really good style or it would be a, like six or seven bucks if it is not a super in style. When I find them in the bins though, it's a great find. Next up, we have this really interesting pair Pair of Levi's. They're the 724 high rise straight, which is great that it's high and straight, size 26. And as you can tell right there, they have that interesting situation going on. I highly doubt that they came this way, but I mean, they are they're pretty distressed. So like, you never know. I need to do some research on these as well. They're like distressed throughout and they have the raw hem, which is like really, really cute on both sides and the distressing throughout. So I don't know, possibly that could be factory done. I'm gonna have to look up. If you didn't know, Levi's with this label actually have style numbers that you can search. It is, let's see, it is this number right here. It is that 58825-009, that is the style. And then if the size is cut out, there's a size right here, like the waist is 26. So I will be looking those up after I film this video. <laughs> Next up, we have this really cute pair of striped pants. They are a wide leg and they are by J. Jill and they are linen stretch, which J. Jill Linen does quite well usually. These are size large, which is a 
great size too but i just thought that these were so cute and obviously if i'm not going to be able to sell them i can definitely bring them to like a consignment store or a buy sell trade store and they will take them then we have another pair of levi's and here's another levi's tip if the levi's label on the back is like this where it's not printed or colored at all the logo is just embossed that means it is the levi's like high quality denim It'll have that like quality stamp in it. The more like normal styles are this like red printed label. The embossed one means it's like they're more expensive, higher quality denim. So these are the 311 Shaping Skinny, size 29. And this kind of thing is like my favorite kind of thing to find in the bins because I would totally, totally pay up slightly for this at the thrift store. I love the high quality denim Levi's. So yeah, I was like really pumped to find these. And like I said, these are a size 29. They're a really good like light wash too. Next up, this is pretty off season, but I just thought that these were really cute. They're American Eagle and they are the mom short. I think that the wash is really nice and the distressing is really cute too. So I did pick these up because again, I'll probably be able to bring them to a Plato's closet if I cannot sell them. Actually, they were the mom jean, so they've probably been cut off, but they were like really well done. People still like mom style shorts, so they should do decent at least. Then another brand I don't always pick up. This is Banana Republic and it's a size 27 pair of jeans. And these are skinny coated red jeans. So they're not leather or pleather. They're like the coated canvas where they just look glossy. And actually I have like once in my thrifting career, I think back kind of when I started, I have once sold a pair of coated Banana Republic jeans and they did like really well. Obviously that was a long time ago and tastes can change, but I just thought since like leather and leather pants are in, this kind of gives that same like feel. So I feel like they might do okay, but we will find out. Next up, we have another pair of Madewell and these are shorts instead of jeans. And they are the Road Tripper, which I kind of feel like is a style of jeans. So these also might have been like custom cut off, but I have definitely sold a pair of Madewell shorts before that were done by the owner. These don't have a size in them. So if you're interested, I will get measurements for you because I don't really want to just guess on shorts but I did find a second pair of Madewell shorts and they're not the same size I held them up to each other but this one does have the size in it's 28 and these are also the boyfriend jean so again these are probably custom made these are super cute though still did I say the size I'm all over the place they're size 28. I think I did say the size. But yeah, these ones are really cute. I love picking up Madewell shorts. They always do pretty well. If these ones are 28, here's kind of a look at how they measure up to each other. So maybe like a size difference or 26. These have stretched. So maybe like a 26 or 27 on those first pair. <laughs> Next up, I did find another pair of Levi's. Again, it's not that like high quality denim, but it is the newer styles. And it's classic boot, which we all know boot is in right now. So these are a size four and they also have some stretch to them. I think the cla or the quality denim has less stretch than the lower quality denim. It's not low quality though. But yeah, these are boot cut and again they're that nice like light wash. This was actually like an actual like farmer cowgirl who wore these because there is like that little bit of like dirt on the back. So she wasn't just wearing boot cut for style, she was wearing it for utility reasons. There's like a little bit of discoloration back here but nothing too bad. Both sides kind of have it as you can see but I still think that these will do pretty decent. And last I think for like bottoms unless there's some buried in my Ikea bag is another Levi's item and these are Levi's short alls I found out that they are called because they are overalls but they are shorts and it's actually pretty awesome I was researching these last night and these were sold at Aritzia, Dolls Kill, and Free People. I think that these are gonna literally like fly out of my posh closet but these are a size large and it kind of was I had to use the same trick because there's no size in here just this label is there set no there's no size but they have that same label right here and if you look right 
there. Like I said, it has the size and even the style. So they're large. Okay, so let's jump into the big ol' heap of plaid and gingham and flannel. First up, I got three scarves. So this is a no-name scarf, as in like literally there's no label at all, but I think we all know what it kind of looks like. And so actually I like to pick these up in case someone buys like a coat from my closet or like a big sweater or something. Sometimes I will throw in like a scarf as just a bonus. This one is a new, oh no, this one is a new tag Old Navy, I believe. No, okay, this one has no label either. There literally might be another scarf buried in this bag. So this, since it's no name, again, I will just send it for free with someone's purchase. But this one definitely feels like it has at least some wool in it. This is a pretty nice one. I guess I've never tried selling brandless scarves, especially when I can't tell what the fabric content is. So that's why I'm just gonna send it to someone for free. This one, I still need to look up. It is acrylic, so it's probably nothing too expensive, but it's by Berkshire. And if it's nothing, Thing. Again, I'll just send it like for free with a coat or sweater purchase. So let's jump into the flannels or shackets. This first one is a shacket and it's a vintage shacket. And if you don't know what a shacket is, it is a shirt jacket, AKA basically it is like a flannel that's usually layered. Like it has quilting inside or just like a thermal layer. It just is like thicker than a shirt, but looks like a shirt. They're very, very, very popular. <laughs> I will say that. So yeah, this is a shacket and it's a vintage one and it's like a nice white and black flannel plaid print. It has very light discoloration maybe up at the front just due to its age. And it is by a brand called David Taylor. I don't know what that is, but this one is a thermal lining, like a waffle knit. This should do really well. Shackets, whether they be newer or vintage, they sell super well and for actually quite a lot. Like I'll probably list that at about 50 bucks. Now we have a, another jacket and this one is a vintage one by Cherokee and it's a size large. Did I say with this white one? The white one was a medium, but these are probably originally men's sizes. So if you're female, just like take that into consideration. But this Cherokee was originally a men's large and this one is actually the super popular style, which is like quilted lining. That is like what most modern jackets are. And this one has an inside pocket with, okay, I guess there's like a tear in it. It should still do totally fine. I literally, that does not matter to me at all. But yeah, this will do really good. It is a kind of like blue, rugged, washed, gray, red print plaid. I'm very excited. I actually, my goal when I went to the bins was to find jackets. So the fact that I found some, I was very, very excited. Okay, next up is a field gear, size large. This is also vintage. This is like less a shacket, more a flannel because there is no lining. It is still that like thicker flannel material though. And I do really like the colors. A lot of people like this kind of color palette for fall. And just so you know, I list all of these as women's, but in the description I'll say like, was originally a men's large, so it's an oversized fit or something like that. So next up is another shacket. I think I have even another one that is buried in the bag. So the shackets may be to be continued, but here's the last one for now. This is vintage as well. It's Macy Lawrence. And this one is actually really cool. I kind of wanted to keep it. It is like a long blazer style jacket almost. It is like green and tan and brown, almost like a hound's tooth. It has like a collar up at the front and then it has like buttons down the front as well that match the print. So it's kind of hard to show and I cannot model it for you because the sleeves are really, really short on me. But this one, even though it's not lined, because of the buttons and because of the collar and the style, I would still list this one as a jacket over a flannel. I really like this one and I wish it fit me, not gonna lie. Oh, does that one even have a size? Okay, this one's like vintage vintage. It is an 1820. This is super vintage, it's made in the US. Oh, I really like this one. <laughs> so I dug the other jacket out of the bottom of the bag. So I have another one that is by that David Taylor brand and this one is a large men's. And this one again is that like quilted lining, which is awesome. Like I said, that is kind of the style that does the best. Due to the age again, there's like very light discoloration maybe around the collar. Nothing too bad. And this is kind of more of a like classic bigger plaid print. This one I think will do really well. Maybe I should even price this one a little higher. 
just because of the quilting and stuff. Oh, actually, it is missing, it's missing one button. So maybe I will mark that price back on down to 50. <laughs> so it's missing a button right here. It's like the middle button, so it wouldn't really affect anything. Oh, and there's a little spot on it. Great. Okay, I still am confident that this will do well. I'm still gonna price it pretty decently to start off with. I think it'll do good. People usually don't care about like somewhere on vintage. Finishing off the plaid items. These are not scarves. These are actually vintage skirts. I usually do not pick up like vintage skirts. I think that these are really cute and they're super nice wool. So this is vintage David Brooks and it's size 14, which is a vintage 14. So I will have to measure it for the listing. I don't know if it has a material tag. I don't think it has a material tag, but it definitely feels like very nice wool. No material tag. Feels like nice wool. It probably at least is mainly wool, and I like the print of it. And then this one I actually like even more. And this one does not even have a brand, but I can tell, again, it is like super vintage. This is like perfect, perfect fall colors. I would love to have a flannel in this print. It's like orange and tan and gray. I just really like this one. Honestly, they seem to be very close in size. The tan one is slightly bigger than the red one. So if this was a vintage 14, this is probably a vintage 16. But again, I will list them with measurements. That is all of the plaid items. Let's jump into the rest of the stuff that I got. So this is another vintage item though. This is actually Liz Claiborne, but this is like a ribbed sweater vest, which is what is super popular right now. The ribbing with like a lot of stretch. I just thought, and neutral. So I think it'll do really good. It's a size small. And nowadays people would probably wear it over like a white button up. Then I never find this brand. So I was excited to find it at the bins. We have this Everlane size medium sweater. And this is called like the boxy essential white sweater or something like that. It does have a discoloration spot to the back of one of the arms. Oh, on the back of this arm right there, you can see it's almost like a makeup spot. And if you bleached it, maybe it'll come out. I don't want to bleach it because I don't want to possibly ruin it. So I tried washing it and it didn't come out, but bleach might take care of that. This was the last item I saw on my way out. It is a Madewell size small sweater dress. It's a really cute like speckly knit. Madewell cardigans that have this like speckle knit always do so good. So I'm hoping that this will do well as well. I don't know why nobody was grabbing this. It was like in the first bin that like everybody goes through and it looked like it had almost been like thrown back and I'm like, why. We have a very Y2K item. This is a Wilson's leather vest with the lace detailing at the front and a zipper to the back. It is Wilson's leather Maxima and it's size medium. This is just like so Y2K. I'm so excited to have found it. Then we have this item. This is like something I would picture Ryan picking up, but obviously when he is not with me, I pick up some of the stuff that he would normally get. So this is a Disney Parks size medium. It is official Disney Parks and it is a Halloween 20. 13 Magic Kingdom Halloween Party shirt. It's a men's size medium, but I think it's so cute. I am not a big Disney person, Ryan is, but I think obviously because it's Halloween, it will do very well. Here is a, another vintage item. I don't know what is with all the vintage today. This is Nautica size small. And I thought this was so cute. This is like a men's polo and it has sailboats all over it. It's like slightly washed in color, but that's just due to its age. It's really not that bad. But I think this is amazing. I think Urban Outfitters would totally sell stuff like this right now. So I was very excited to find that. Speaking of Urban Outfitters, I had two, actually I had three really good Urban Outfitters finds. So here's the tag on this one. This one is a men's medium and it is like a chain link mock neck t-shirt just black with the chain link detail at the neck this will do quite well i feel like men's urban outfitters always does pretty good on posh for me and here is another urban outfitters item but this oh this is by just urban outfitters this is an extra small and this is like a cropped sherpa in this nice like orange color with the mock neck and a quarter zip and a drawstring detail at the bottom even if ryan was with me that is the kind that i will try to sell myself i would not throw that to him <laughs> Same with these. So these 
These are amazing and slightly depressing at the same time. So these are BDG jeans, which is Urban Outfitters brand, size 25. And these are the most like amazing pair of jeans ever. They have patchwork all over them, color blocking. They have like bandana prints to them. And the big problem is that they are completely ripped across the back leg. No fabric is missing. So I do have a sewing machine and I might just try to fix them. I still didn't want to skip them even knowing I knew they were ripped, but like these are just too amazing. I have to somehow fix them and sell them. I love them so much. Next up is a kind of Y2K item, but it's surprising that a brand like this would make Y2K type items. It's Vince size medium, and it is this tank top olive kind of color with these like lace details at each side. I just, I'm surprised that this is Vince. I actually picked it up without seeing the label and I was like, oh, I really like this. Then I saw it was Vince and I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I am pretty excited about that. It is a size medium. Then I am just giving this a shot. This is a Lacoste size 40, which I think was a medium. It has the little logo on the front there and it is striped. Lacoste is like kind of having a moment. So I will just give that a shot. Then kind of like those sweatpants, the first item I showed you, when I picked this up, I just knew it was gonna be Lulu. It's this like striped, kind of like sheer mesh striped t-shirt. And I believe it's men's, probably like a large. And I was looking everywhere for a Lulu logo and there really just like is not one. The only Lulu logo is on this little tab here and you guys probably can't even see it. But like, I was determined. I had this in my cart the whole time. I was like, before I leave, I will find a Lululemon logo on this. And I did. <laughs> Next up is a brand I definitely have never tried before, but I'm gonna try it just because of what it is. So it is this, well, you can see the brand right there. It is Shein, which is like worthless. And it is terrible, terrible fast fashion. But it is this rainbow cropped tie shoulder sweater. And even though I don't support Shein, it's better than just having this go to the dump. So I'm gonna try selling this. I know that some people actually really like to buy Shein secondhand because they don't wanna buy it firsthand and support them. So we will see how that does. Next up is my one free people find for the day. And I have not really figured out how this goes yet, but it is We The Free and it is a size medium and it has tied shoulders and obviously it must be some kind of like crop, like tie across wrap top. I haven't found the model pictures yet because I actually haven't taken pictures or listed it yet. Okay, we are getting down there now. So next up was a new brand to me as well. And these are a really cute pair of platform like mesh kind of raffia-ish shoes. They have somewhere like this spot kind of has a snag or else the rest is like pretty decent. There's kind of just like a tiny snag on each side and they are at by a brand called Robert Clergy, Clergy or Clergy, Clergy. Uh, this is actually like a really expensive brand. I had never heard of it. And the comps are literally all over the place, but since they were at the bins and I think they're pretty cute, I am gonna give them a shot. And they are a size, I do not know what size these are yet, but I will figure that out before I list them. <laughs> Next up, we have a pair of leggings. And these are a nice like tie-dye pair of leggings and they are by Wild Fable. Like Ryan and I always say, Wild Fable tie-dye can actually sell sometimes. These are size large and I just thought I'd give them a shot or else I will just end up consigning them somewhere. So this I thought was pretty cool. This is a super, super intense like wool shirt, sweater, jacket. I don't know what you want to call it, but this is actually like an authentic like vintage sailor navy like i don't know if it's a jacket sweater so it has this like flap detail to the back oh yeah naval clothing factory i cannot read the name but yeah this is like actual like navy clothes and the wool is just like insane and i actually think it's pretty cool so I am gonna give this a shot. 
I do not know a size yet, and I assume it was men's, so I would actually say maybe like a small men's or extra small men's. It's quite tiny, and obviously, since it's like virgin wool, there is no stretch. Next up is another Urban Outfitters item, and this, I believe, is a tapestry. I have actually not unfolded it yet. Yes, okay, so it's definitely a tapestry. I'm not going to fully unfold it right here because it'd be hard to fold back up, but I believe it's like a really pretty like floral linen tapestry. Now that I look at it, I'm like tempted to keep it, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, and here is the Urban Outfitters home logo. If you ever see that on something, it is an H with a U at the top and an O at the bottom. Next up is this pair of ribbed pants and they are by Nasty Gal, size two. I do not always pick up Nasty Gal, especially in the thrift store, but when it's at the bins, I sometimes will because it can sell if it's a cute enough style. This is a neutral and it has that ribbed look, so I think that these pants will do quite well. Then and we have another pair of Lulu lemons. I thought that I had had all the bottoms in the beginning of this, but apparently I missed a bunch of them. There's the logo. And I actually just sold this exact same pair like last week or two weeks ago. It is this like kind of striped, like almost like knit pair of Wonder Unders and they are size four. It seems like every time I find Lulu, it's a size four. I do not know why that is. Three more items. So next up is this J. Crew size extra small down puffer vest. I have tried these in the past and I don't have like the best luck with them, but some people can sell them really well. I know Ryan used to like love to sell these things. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Obviously we are in the season for it, so maybe it will do better than mine have done in the past. Then we have a Nike item and this is Nike size large. This is like a super cute, I love this color, quarter zip sweatshirt. And the only issue with this is it has like a paint spot at one of the wrists, but it's on the bottom of the wrist. So you wouldn't see it when it's worn. But this is a woman size large and I don't always pick up Nike. I feel like this will do really well. So this is a swim top, a really pretty printed swim top with like neon floral. I have yet to figure out what, oh, there it is. It is out from under. It is Urban Outfitters. I knew that it was Urban or Anthro or Free People because it has the 66170RN number right there, but now I see that it's out from under. So I think that this will do really well. It's really cute. And it is a size large. And my last item is not like a finale or anything, but it is quite nice. It is this soft surroundings sweater without a size. And it is this like nice cable knit kind of teal blue sweater. I would say it is probably a large or a medium and it's perfect for the season. So of course I had to grab it. <laughs> okay, so that is all that I have for you guys today. I'm sorry that this haul was so long. I hope I didn't keep you from something, but I did find a ton of good stuff and I just wanted to show you guys all of it. So I hope you guys like this haul. If you did, let me know and let me know what your favorite item was that I found. I'm super excited to get all this listed and hopefully either by the time that you're seeing this or by like the next day all of this should be listed or at least most of it i actually haven't taken pictures of most of it or anything i was waiting to do the haul and now i'm gonna start photographing it so yeah thank you guys for coming and i hope you enjoyed this haul and ryan and i will see you on the second channel tomorrow or we will see you on this channel on saturday for what's on saturday bye